All right, so I'm out of town, but I can't get away from doing reviews. I love doing them, if, even if I don't do them good. <laughs> uh, I still love doing them. If I do them good, I'm not sure. I just, I wing it, but I enjoy doing it that way. So <clears throat> we're looking at today the King James Version Preaching Bible. So this is meant for uh, preachers, but anybody really, after looking at it, this would just be a great, great readers. Uh, um a great reader's Bible, or even for study with uh, the 72,000 uh, plus cross references that it has. Of course, it's done by Thomas Nelson. This is the brown calfskin edition, premium brown calfskin leather. I would, um, it, it's 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 a it's a decent calfskin, but I it's I wouldn't I'd put it at the very entry level of premium Bibles or semi-premium, something like that. I wouldn't say it's, it's a premium Bible. Um, I would say the paper's premium. Uh, it's like a 40 GSM or 39 GSM. It's a very high GSM Bible. So there's not going to be a concordance. There's no maps, anything like that. But let's look at the back. <clears throat> and I got a, I'm using different lighting, so I'm sorry about the glare. Um, you can read that if you'd like. But let's look at the features. Verse by verse layout for easy navigation. Now that's great for any preacher. You know that verse by verse is the best layout for preaching, um, and for a Sunday school teacher. So that that's really good. Uh, the Thomas Nelson complete cross reference system with over seventy two thousand cross references. That that's awesome. Uh, classic two color typesetting line matched for optimal readability. And boy, do they do a good job on that. Beautiful eleven point five. Uh, 11.5 uh, type size. I'm used to different wording on that, but you know, type font, type size, and uh, Thomas Nelson KJV Comfort Print, which is just brilliant the way they do it. Um, <clears throat> now I don't know how it is in the New King James, but I'll show you how it is in the King James, and I, I really like. It. If it's the same in the New King James, I would uh, say uh, get the New King James too, but or whatever you like, whatever you prefer, New King James or King James. Uh, pr premium high contrast Bible paper. That is, that I can definitely vouch for that. In fact, I like the paper in this more than I do uh, the Premier Series. I just do. I like it. I, maybe it's just the GSM of the paper, but I, I really would say that is a really high contrast premium Bible paper. Ultra ultra flexible calfskin binding and durable edge line construction. Uh, there's one thing about the construction that I'd, I'm not so fond of, but it's not a big, big deal. It might be for some of y'all. Uh, three satin ribbon markers, and those three satin ribbon markers are single satin. But uh, here's what the text looks like. So that, what's showing up on here is like a blue. It's more like a turquoise, like a greenish blue, but more on the blue side of that. So it's it's really nice. It's a nice uh, it's a nice look. So that's what the Bible would look like, or the the case would look like when you get the brown edition. The black edition comes in a black box, but with the same. And this has texture, this box, I like this. It reminds me of the old the old signature series when they had Abba binding the reference Bibles and all that stuff back in the, uh, I think it was the late 90s, early early 2000s, late 90s around there, when they were using Abba and French milled paper and all that. But I like the texture on the box. Okay, so let's bring out the Bible. And before we get inside the Bible, I want to compare the brown. So this is the, the, the calfskin with the perimeter stitching, but I want to compare it to another brown one that I brought with me. Um, to the Buffalo. There's no doubt in my mind, this is a much better Bible. Uh, I do actually like the paper better in this, uh, but this, this paper is not bad at all, but I'm, I'm just, I like this paper better. But um, I, I definitely, overall, definitely like this one better. This is, this is a better Bible by, a, by a, a long shot. This is, this has become my favorite Bible uh, in the King James. Okay, so that's the, the color difference. This is going to be a, a lighter Kind of like, um, like a saddle tan brown, I think is what they call it. Uh, not what Tom, Thomas Nelson calls it, but what a lot of Bible publishers would call it. So it's a little bit of a lighter brown. It's not too light. It's not a tan, but it's like a, um, like a, it has that light tan to it, but it has, a, it's, it's dark enough of a brown where I think you'd really like it. Um, I wish I had a Skylar with me, and I don't, that's brown, because. Uh, I could compare it to that, and the, the Skyler would be even darker than this. But I, I like this. This is a really, really nice uh, color. And then it's got uh, no raised hubs. And I, I was reading up on hubs. I was wrong about something. I, I thought hubs were to bring the book off the bookshelf. Now, 
this is something funny because we love hubs, right? I'm sure you guys are saying yes, some people. I kind of like, I've had hubs on Bibles for so long, I kind of miss Allen, how they just, you know, tool them in. I kind of like that. Um, but I still love hubs, but I've had them for so long, it's like you kind of go back to what you used to like or used to have, and I'm kind of going back to just the the, the lined um, spine. Now, this doesn't have any um, lined. Uh, they just use the gold stamping. Which actually it feels nice in the hand. It's, it's nice, very nice. It feels comfortable. I like it. And of course, it's King James Thomas Nelson. It does come with uh, three single satin, which one of them, the brown one, it comes with brown, that same kind of blue they use in the text, uh, just a little bit bluer maybe. Um, but the brown one, for some reason, when they placed it, the non satin side is facing up in the other more the satin sides and the other two are facing up which i can fix that just by rearranging the ribbons and you can see what i mean that's just how it came uh i like the i like this i like these colors though they really go good with brown i never thought blue and red and and of course brown would go with it but the combination i never really thought that would go together too well but it, it really does it, it's it's different i like it okay so i have not broken in this bible yet so it's not going to like lay flat but you can see uh the corners are, you know, they're decent. They're cut well. I mean, it's not bad. And I, I would say this, like where they cut the leather, um, it, it's straighter than a lot of other, you know, um, publishers in the same range of quality or whatever. So uh, I like that. Now, as far as the construction I was talking about that I didn't like is the liner. It feels like it's going to be a vinyl like the minister's Bible, which is pretty much the same material as um, as the paste down part where they apply the text block. It might be a thicker version of that, or they might have a thickener between here. But it does feel like if you're, if you're going to use this a lot, you will start getting those wrinkles in here. And uh, if you know what the vinyl is, it's kind of like, um, uh, like a really kind of like cardboard material with a finish. Um, it's not a bad thing, um, but just be a little bit more careful with it. Um, I'm not going to try wrinkling this one because this one I'm going to use for a readers because you'll see here why I use this one for readers and for preaching, of course. Um, okay, so that's the only thing, one of the negatives is it's just that it's not even a bonded leather, I don't think. I'm not sure on that, so you might want to look that up. But to me, it feels like it's just a vinyl. It could be a good thing. I'm not sure yet, but if it's like the Minister's Bible, which is one of my favorite Bibles that they've done recently, uh, that's the only complaint that I had on that one, too, was just the, the liner. But it's edge-lined, so it's still going to be a... It's still well-constructed. They could have used better quality materials on that. All right, so you open the Bible, and uh, this is very thick. So that's why I'm thinking it's probably with these in the liner too. But this seems like it's a little bit more flexible. The liner is more flexible. But this is very thick, this first cardstock sheet. And uh, you can see how they glued that so the presentation page isn't like in the best place. I wish they had more cardstock before you got to this. But that, that's okay. That's okay. Um, you can see that blue color that they use. And uh, I like this. This looks really nice. Nice little presentation page here with the little design there in the blue. And then uh, this is, of course, it was printed in 2018. They do use a 2K Denmark. Uh, did, their, did the font, created the font for the King James Version Preaching Bible. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's really nice. Now, here's where it really shines. This is such, I like the old Bibles, like, say, the... The turquoise and the cameo and the concord that and, and stuff like that that have that bolder font. That's what I like. This is a very bold and this paper is very, very uh, nice. It's a nice paper. Uh, like I said, I think it's either 39 or 40 GSM. And I could I could be wrong on that, but the feel of it, it's it's a thick paper. I like that. It almost uh it it doesn't have maybe the opacity of a, a French mill, but it almost has that feel, so I like that. You do have your the books of the Old Testament, New Testament, the contents there. That's what the contents are here. Uh, the books abbreviated, so it shows you how they abbreviate the books in the Bible uh, when you're going through your uh, the, the references, stuff like that. And then the special abbreviations. So here's the Old Testament, and at the moment, it doesn't lay flat in Genesis. 
because uh, that's going to flip flop over. But like I said, I haven't broke it in with an initial break in and a little bit of use. I'm sure uh, that will break in just fine because it, it doesn't seem like it's too stiff of a hinge. But uh, this is like what, like what I said. It, it, this is where it really shines. Uh, the ghosting's not that bad. Of course, this camera's going to pick it up more because it's trying to pick up. Uh, it's going to pick up maybe a more... Uh, how can I say that um, the light spectrum probably for the intake of the camera is going to take in more, try to take stuff in more vivid just because that's how cell phone cameras are. Um, but like I said, the bold text is so nice. And what I like is they use that turquoise bluish color to use your verse markings, your subheadings, and also the books of the Bible and stuff like that. But what I do like is it's a really good reader so you can read it. And it's line matched also, of course, but everything like the Skylar, all the references and any maybe alternate translations and stuff like that are down here, which is really nice because if you just want to read it, you can just read it. But if you want to study, you still have that option, and especially with over 72,000 cross references, that's really good. Let's go where I can keep it open. Uh, it does just, it feels so smooth when you turn the pages. Very, very, very smooth. And that paper is just so nice and thick. I like I like this. I really like this paper. Um, I do. I like it better than the Premiere series. I really do like this paper better. That's just my personal opinion. I'm sure there's people that disagree with me on that. But I just like that thick feeling of the paper. Now, let's see if it has... It has maybe a little bit of a shine. But... You know what? That's... Uh, what I see on camera... I barely see with the naked eye and I'm I got a light that's not it's not a it's an old light it's not a fluorescent light so I'm thinking that 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 glare which is very very minimal is probably from the old lighting that I'm using I'm not under natural light because this paper when I was in the store it just it really stands out really really opaque okay so um, that pretty much explains a lot it is a black letter text so you won't have the words of Christ in red, which I like. I like black letter Bibles. That's that's my uh, preference. Uh, that's not everybody's, but that's mine. Um, and I really like that. So if you like black letter, this is uh, this is really good. And this I can see why this is a preaching Bible. It's good for preaching. Of course, some people would like a wide margin, but if you have your manuscript on the side and that's what you're preaching from is your manuscript, then this is this is wonderful. This is great. Um, now, because it is such a thick paper. You're not going to have um, any concordance or anything in the, in the back. It's going to be the end of Revelation and the 2K Denmark information uh, right here. And then you're just going to have the, the end of the Bible. Because this Bible is not, it's not too thick. It's about as thin, maybe a little bit thicker than uh, the thin line uh, Skylar NASB, the thin tail. So uh, it's probably a little bit, maybe as thin, you know, just give or take, or maybe thicker. I'm thinking it might be a little bit thicker, but I don't have one here to check it out. Oh, the gilding, though. The gilding is done very nice. It's very nice. I still think Church Bible Publishers does the best uh, um, gold gilding, but this is good, and it's really good. Um, as far as the head and tail bands, they're brown to match the cover. They're, they're not done the best, but they're not bad. They're, they're good. I like them. They'll work for what it's for. And there is variations. There's darker parts of the brown and there's lighter parts. It's not a grainy Bible. There's another one that had a little bit more grain, but uh, it had um, uh, another one I was looking at, and it had a little bit of a um, a defect, so I didn't I didn't uh, choose that one. Oh, actually, the okay, this one does have a little bit of grain. Here's some scarring. I didn't notice that in the back. And actually, there's there's a lot of nice natural scars here. I like that. Even look right here. Look at that. So this has more, more character than I thought. Now that I'm looking at it a little bit more. But I uh, just wanted to show that so you guys could, uh, if you're looking for a really good reading Bible, this, I think, takes the cake. Because you can read it. If you want something that's like a transformer, you want something you can read and not have anything distract you, but at the same time, if you need to and you want to study, you can do that. So it's it's really good. It can it can uh, serve multiple purposes, but I can see why this is a, a preaching Bible. So that is the preaching Bible from Thomas Nelson in the King James Version, and I think um, it's a good Bible as long as you get it for a good deal. Um, 
it's not what I would consider premium. I would say it's semi entry premium, but don't let that that fool you. It's still a very nice buy one. I think it will last many years. It is Smythe sewn. It does have calfskin leather. I think this will last quite a long time, and I think uh, if you get it, you'll be you'll be very happy with it. So find a good deal on it. You know, go to uh, Evangelical Bible. I think they're going to have these, and if not, uh, just find a good price on one and pick one up if you're looking for something like this with a really good bold text, very easy on the eyes, uh, just a a good good preaching Bible, or maybe a Sunday school teacher if you just want something that's really. Uh, great for reading. Just It's just a really, really good Bible. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Until next time, good day, and God bless.